Hello and welcome to Bitfilms. I'm your host Sartak and this video is going to be really amazing because we are going to learn about the Rust slices. After this ownership concept, after this heap and stack concept, it's now time to learn about the slices. What is slice, why we need it and why it's important. So I'm going to remove everything from here, not exactly everything but uh, uh, till this one. Okay, so we have this S1 but what if we want to get only certain part of the string or let's say we have let S2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Suppose I want to get some part of this uh, array and then how we will do that in Rust. So we are going to use slice as the name suggests slicing. Slicing means cutting, cutting, chopping means slicing and we are going to use this. How we do that? We are it's going to simply use a new array which we call let's say S3 and this time we are going to use S2 and then use these two brackets. I can zoom it for you. These two brackets and in this bracket I will say two dot and close this line. When I say two dot this basically means that I'm going to slice from initial to end. That means no slicing at all. So it's like no cutting but just having the knife on the starting and the end. <laughs> okay, now let's try to print this and this time we just want to print only S3. So I'm going to use this colon and question mark because S3 has to be uh, array not just a string. So if I try to run this we are going to get error because now it says that hey you are trying to slice but slicing a simple uh, variable is not uh, available because now this is creating problem at this time what will be the size of s2 it doesn't know the size of value of type integer cannot be known by compiled time because here it's just the string instead of creating or transferring this we just need to have the reference or the value of pointer the memory address once we do that let me just comment this string once we do that then we will see that we are not getting any error and now we are having one two three four five but slice has to do with some kind of chopping and cutting so let's do this now i'm going to define start from one and go till 3 and not including the 3. I'm not talking about the number, I'm talking about the position. So if I do this, let's see what we are getting. We are getting 2 and 3. Hmm, 2 and 3 because it did start with the index. So what is the index 1? So index 1 will be, this is index 0, index 1, index 1 is 2. Now we don't use the index written here. So we are excluding this index. So what is the third index? Third index is 4. So we need to exclude this. We are not going to include. So starting from first, go till two and not include the third one. So that's why we are getting two and three only. Okay, now let's see. What if we say uh, one till four? So fourth index is this five value. Okay, so it will take two, three and four. Okay, let's see. If you are getting confused, let me show you this with the hello world. Now we are going to do the hello world with S1 and now let's see what's going to happen. This time now we say that start from first index and go till fourth index uh, and do not use the fourth index by the way. So what is the first index? H is zero index, E is first index so we are going to include it, L is index uh, two we are going to include it, next L is index three we are also going to include it, next index is four but we are not going to include fourth index so what should be the result? E L L. Let's see, let's see if it is going to work or not. And yes, you can see now we are getting ELL. So this is basically the slice available in Rust. And how we do that? We do by using these two brackets. And in the bracket, we define the from where you need to start, including that dot dot. That means go till, <laughs> till the fourth index, but do not include that index. Now, what if you want to start from very beginning, like including H, I want hello full. So I need to give zero, then one, two, three, four, and five. So till five, not include the five. So zero to five should give us the, uh, give us the hello. Let's see. Yes, we are getting hello. But you know, there is one more thing. If you are getting the first thing, and if you want to provide zero, instead of zero, just say nothing. If you say nothing, it will start by default from zero and you see we are getting hello. Now, similar to this, what if we want to get the world? So we need to start from W. W is the sixth index and then seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11 should be the case. So we start from six and go till 11. Let's see what's going to happen this time. Now it's giving world because 11 is not available and we are not even going to include it, but it's going till 11. But since this is the last thing, we can exclude it. We don't need to remember what should be the last one. So in that case, starting from six and give me whatever it is available. So here's the world. Now, what if later on it just changed? It doesn't matter because we said that give me everything from six and go till the end. And that's the power of the slice. I hope you got what slice is in Rust. And if you have any question related to Rust, related to slice, related to ownership, stack, heap, 
just let me know in the comment section comment section is for you bro it's, it's like the page where you can tell all of your emotions related to rust and do not forget to hit like button if this video is helpful and you just help me by hitting that subscribe button crushing it and how hard you can hit it that's going to give me the motivation to create more amazing content on modern technologies not just rust but more in the future so we will meet in the next video till then goodbye